traumatize you for anything because they don't like a certain person you brought on. They don't like a certain topic you covered. Like, this is a very scary time to be a creator, man. Hell, they kicked us off Instagram for, for nothing. And then right now, we got this dude who killed his wife and a girl and, and, his, and, her, and her boyfriend, right? Mm -hmm. Killed him in cold blood. He's still on Instagram. <laughs> Diddy beating the shit out of his chick. Still on Instagram. That's the world that we're in, guys. Apparently, we're, we're terrorists. I mean, what are we terrorizing? <laughs> like, Crazy, like, bro. Crazy. That's but that's the clown world that we're in, guys. And and yeah. with big tech and censorship, etc. like the only thing you can do is be able to, um, you know, obviously have your own um, have your own platform. And for us, that's going to be Castle Club where you guys will always be able to find us. Of course, we're still going to be on YouTube. Of course, we're still going to be on Rumble. We're going to give you guys as much free content as we can. But for us to continue the mission that we're doing, right, at the level that we're doing it, we need y'all support, bro. We need, we need y'all support, right? And it's not just for us. It's for Rumble as well. Because at the end of the day, they could take us off YouTube at any time. You guys saw. DHS literally spent like a million dollars to go after the Manosphere. And they listed us and Andrew Tate and Rolo Tomasi and a bunch of other RP creators. Just for giving you guys information on masculinity and becoming a better man, they put us on a fucking target list. Which I, that makes me irate and it's a damn shame because i used to work for the department of homeland security i don't know what the fuck they're doing now where they're spending all this money on stupid shit like that we got better things to worry about you guys are worried about us talking about guys to go to the gym and take care of themselves when we got a fucking border crisis right <laughs> it's even worse like what the fuck has happened in the past few years since i've left <laughs> clown world man clown world but see again me even have this conversation with y'all i'm getting into murky waters now yeah because if we talk about geopolitics, it's a problem, right? I've seen other YouTubers do the shit, same shit that we're doing, talk about the same things we've done, violate the same rules that we violated, and they don't get punished the same. They don't get punished, or they, get, they don't get strikes. We get them. And I know a lot of you guys are like, well, Myron, you only have yourself to blame. You guys push the edge, etc. And to, to that, I'll say, yeah, you're fucking right. We did push the edge, and we might have uh, deserved to get a strike. But you know what, man? If you're going to give us a strike or you're going to give us certain penalties... I don't see other creators getting the same penalties that we do for the same shit that they've done. Yeah, that's true. There's no equal punishment. I'm not going to name names. I, can, I literally have examples, but I'm not going to do that shit because I'm not going to be like, oh, well, uh. I'm just going to tell you guys that the punishment is not equally dealt among different creators on the platform. That's all I'm going to say. There's favorites in YouTube. Absolutely. We get it. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. But luckily, yeah. Rumble were their favorite too. So there you go. We yeah. support Rumble because they support us. And ultimately, guys, if you want to be frank about it, listen, we need your help. It's what it is. And look, we, we plan for this. We had some savings and some stuff on the side. Of course. A hundred percent. But we need support to make us last long, longer. Yeah. And as well be up front right now. Because look, I didn't think, guys, if we get canceled off of YouTube, marketing is finished. We got to focus on other things. We have some market. Maybe run uh -huh. some ads or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the point is that like right now, we need your help. Yeah. And and, and also, guys, keep in mind, because like some, some people have like misconstrued when I said this. When I said, I'm fine, I got my real estate, whatever, I'm talking about myself. I can walk away from this and be fine. I can absolutely stop podcasting today and be fine, right, financially, because I've, I've built myself up to a place where I get a good amount of recurring revenue passively. I don't have to work another day in my life, right? And that was from Smart Investments and Social, which I've shared with you guys before, right? I had to invest in real estate, et cetera. But to run a podcast, to run a business requires money. Capital. Okay? It requires money to pay employees to keep uh, to keep things going to keep things on to keep equipment um uh, obviously maintained to get new equipment when needed to host shows etc so running a podcast right like we're doing now at a very high level versus me being able to take care of myself are two different things i can't believe that i even have to explain this that people weren't able to distinguish between the two but they're two different things so if we're going to continue to run the pod right at the level that we're running it, getting you guys big guests, traveling, um, you know, um, doing because uh, because we want to do more collabs where like you know you guys see us on other platforms, etc. You guys love me on Jubilee, yeah. Um, you guys enjoy the the um, Boston Apedos with Vitaly and stuff like that. Yeah, we're gonna do more of that. We're gonna be branching out, right? Um, but for for us to be able to run the way that we do, guys, it requires money. It does, and um, like I said before, Rumble supported us, so now we're just paying back the favor, man. And the good part is now, especially like what we're doing now with the actual Castle Club, where we bring people to us in Miami, to yeah. studio sessions as well. Oh, yeah, person. yeah, yeah. we're going to have y'all, we're going to so oh, be doing giveaways too. We're going to pick some winners from the OG members of Castle Club and some new members as well to fly them into Miami 
in studio to watch shows live. Yeah. That's huge. Guys, the thing now is that obviously we were so focused on like, you know, just giving y'all free content, free content, free content, whatever whatever it may be. Now, we're still going to focus on giving y'all free content, but Castle Club is going to be the home base where if you guys want to interact with us, etc., Castle Club is going to be where we host our Zoom calls. If you want to do consultations, uh, when we host events, whether it's a boat party, whatever it may be, we're going to put the message out there on Castle Club yeah. first, right? They're going to get first right away with everything. Our when we free do meet meetups, ups, all that stuff. Are, all that's going to be on Castle Club. By the way, if you're a brokey in the chat, I'll call you a brokey just because you don't want to support. That's understandable. What I will say, though, is like when you see the value in the Castle Club, you're like, damn, you know what? Yeah. I need to be a part of that. But and, again, you know, and if you fine. can't afford it, it's fine. If you can't afford it, that's fine, bro. No one is forcing y'all to join. Like, yeah. I want to make that very clear, too. If you don't have the money or even you don't want to join, that's totally cool. You can still watch the stuff for free. It's fine. Yeah. Like, I'm, we're not going to sit here and be angry. You'd be like, oh, what the fuck? You didn't join. No, no, no. That's fine, bro. But uh, my only issue is, like, when you're a hater about it. Like, oh, fuck y'all. This is a money grab, blah, blah, blah. No, it's, this is so that we can continue to keep do doing what we're doing. Guys. I want y'all to name another podcast that got demonetized that still that went for a year, giving you guys free content. We went for another year with, with like, n no nothing. Like We didn't ask for shit. Yeah. We are just like, yo, we didn't sell no courses. We brought DMs on demand back here and there whenever you guys asked for people, it. People want it, by the way. Yeah. We only bring courses out when you guys ask for it, by the way. Yeah. We, we Literally, after, like, 50 people ask, oh, I want DMs on demand, blah, blah, we'll bring it out. We'll do a short little thing. But, guys... When people say we're money grabbers, I'm like, in my head, like, what are you talking about? Like, we've given out so much free content, 2,000 plus videos, man. Actually, like, just to add to your point, we passed up on so many deals for companies, even gambling deals. We're like, bro, yeah. we would have been like Aiden Ross set, bro. But but then again, principle-wise, it doesn't match with our content or the, or the you know, the fans. If it was a supporters. money grab, like, we would be out here telling y'all to gamble. We'd yeah. be out here advertising alcohol to y'all. We'd be, um, we'd be, um... Like doing, uh, pushing a bunch of degenerative bullshit on you guys, and we don't, man. We don't like for the kind Actually, of they call us stupid. All yeah. the creators are, like, bro. You should charge niggas, and we're like, nah, you know, we're making it work. But eventually, at some point, you have to. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, and this this is what it is, man. Like it, it's it's just, you know, we've been giving y'all free, and I c I could understand where some of the anger might come from. Like, oh, you giving us content for free for so long now, you know, you want to come in and and charge us? Well, number one, it's still gonna stay free. And then number two, a portion of the content is going to be behind a paywall, but the majority of it is still going to be free. So I want to be explicitly clear about that. And like I said before, the money's going to a good cause. It's going to support locals, which is Rumble, same company, which supports us, which supports free speech. You guys have seen the fucking big censorship tech. And, bro, everybody that I know that's in our space has their own platform. We're the only ones that really didn't have that. Well, we had one, but we never pushed it like that. Yeah, we didn't. We, we're the only ones. You know, like this is how you give a big middle finger to the fucking big, uh, the big tech that wants to censor and um, censor and demonetize you. Crowder's been demonetized for years, right? Yeah. Well, how's he able to keep going? Mug Club, man. Mug Club. He, he, and he gives a big middle finger to everybody that tells him, oh, you don't want to fucking fuck with us? Cool. Fuck y'all. That's that's where we want to be as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? And keep giving y'all the content we give. Because I'll tell you this, we push the edge further than they do. <laughs> <laughs> but that's us being transparent, though. Yeah, we push the edge way further than everybody else. You know, uh, yeah, way, way further, way further. But you know, we brought on, we bring on con more controversial guests. We br we, br you know, shout out to Crowder. I love Crowder. Um, but like we've, like we definitely pushed the edge. So like we should have done this sooner, to be honest with y'all. But hey, man, you know, like I said, we're not. We we came from the professional world, as you guys know. I was law enforcement. He was um tech. So the whole creator space is is a new thing. But, but now you know, the current update. And a fresh and fit, as yeah. You, as so, you know let, let's answer some questions here. So, yeah. if you guys got questions, man, shoot them in, guys. I'd be happy to we, answer whatever. We want to be very transparent and with y'all. After this, we have a yeah, actually, matter of fact, we have another show for you guys. We got Andrew Esquire in the house, by the way. We're gonna we're gonna give you guys you, it's Money Monday. Legal bro. mindset. Yeah, I thought we, we were gonna give you guys some free value. <laughs> we got um, Andrew Esquire here. We're gonna talk to you guys about how to become a lawyer. That's gonna be the next episode after Boom. this, and then we're gonna talk about Raquetta Law as well. As you guys know, he's, he's got right some now. criminal charges. So we're going to talk about that Hopefully um, after through. this. So I'll yeah. answer some of these questions here, and then we're going to go right back to giving you guys the value. All, All right. right.